Hi everyone, so in this video we will learn how to fetch data from a JSON file in JavaScript. As you can see, I got a JSON file right in front of me. It is basically an array of objects. Each object has two properties, ID and name. I basically want to perform a search based on the ID and get the name and display it on the screen. So let's say if I enter 2, I want to display Jane Smith on the screen. So this is a web page. Let's type 2 here. Click on this get button and we are getting change smith. Same goes in case of 5. I'll get Mike Davis. As you can see, this array contains only 5 objects and the max ID possible is 5. But in case if I'll enter 10 here, I'll get not found. So this is what we are going to build in this tutorial. So let's get started. Let's create an index file here. It will be index.html. Let's have a basic HTML structure. Link to the style sheet. Also, we need a script file at the bottom, which is script.js. Let's have one div element here. We need one input element. Type will be text. Just remove these attributes. We need one button. Text will be get. Also, to display the name, we need one h2 element. Initially, it will be empty. Now just save it. Create a style sheet here. Style.css. Let's select the div element here. Display will be flex. Justify content will be center. Gap will be 10 pixels. Select h2 element. Text align will be center. Select input element. Padding will be 5 pixels. Outline will be none. Select button element. Padding will be 5 pixel and 25 pixel. Border none. Border radius will be 5 pixels. Background color will be green. Color will be white. Font fit will be bold. Save it. Let's open this file in the browser to see the output. Perfect. Now let's work on the script file. Create script.js here. Now the first step here is to fetch the data from a JSON file and store that in a variable. So let's create a variable here, JSON data. So as soon as the page is loaded, we would like to make a fetch request. So we'll use load event here. This will be the handler function. To fetch a data, we'll simply make a fetch request to the JSON file like this. Then we'll parse the JSON response. Later, we'll store the data in the JSON data variable like this. Also, we'll have a catch block here. So in case there is an error, we'll simply console log it. The next step is to select all the elements and add a click event listener to the button. So let's do it here. Let's select the input element. Select the button element. Also the H2 element, let's call it heading element. Add a click event listener to the button. Now inside this click event listener, the first step is to get the input value. So let's create a variable here, value. And we'll utilize the value property of the input element. To get the value from the input because by default it's a string but as you can see the id is number so we have to convert it into a number format for that you can make use of pass int method or you can go with number function i'll go with number function just for the sake of simplicity so create a variable here id and pass this value to the number function the next step is to find the object by the id so let's create a variable here user and 
we'll call find method on the JSON data. So let's call it item. So if item dot ID is equal to this ID, we got the user. So if user is defined, I'll set the text content of the heading element, which will be equivalent to the name. In case user is not found, it will be undefined. In that case, just copy and paste it. I'll display not found. Save it. Now let's go to the browser. Type here one. We got John Doe. Let's type five here. We are getting Mike Davis. Now let's type 10. We are getting not found. I hope you got the point. How it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.